Hey, what's up, y'all? So, um, right now I'm in another area and I'm trying to see if I do get a decent DoorDash order. Um, right now I'm parked outside a bunch of, um, a bunch of restaurants like Bonefish Grill is right by me, Chipotle, um, uh, what else? Bonefish Grill, Chipotle, which, which, and there's a car parked right next to me and I'm sure she's probably doing the same thing. So I'm going to let you guys know that there's probably now an oversaturation, uh, dealing with, you know, DoorDash drivers. And, um, you know, I really don't think you're going to end up getting, you know, capitalizing off a lot of, you know, you know, getting paid. Um, regardless. So, um, I'm getting ready to a little bit, you know, lay off completely doing uh DoorDash cause I'm, I'm looking at employment elsewhere. Um, there's been a lot of videos that, that say the positive, but you know, man, it's, you know, I don't think probably when DoorDash, uh, opened first opened up or when you got on, you know, you really felt like it was profitable, but now it's really beginning to feel like it's just a, a waste of time and money as far as, um, you know, using up gas and stuff. So I, you know, I did do some errands and stuff that I had to do. I went and picked up some water and all that good stuff, but, um, you know, you can't necessarily, uh, rely on this as a steady source of income or, or at least a prop profitable source of income. Now, sure. I could have picked up that, that $6 and it looks like the person next to me, they, I bet you, they, I bet you they're doing grub over DoorDash or something. But, um, that six dollar um ride yeah i could have could have did that instant money in the pocket but later on when i'm paying for gas and everything um that's just out the door so you know your profit definitely has to outweigh um outweigh you know what you're out here doing trying to do this hustle but uh i continue to see i continue to see people talk positive about doordash but i would like to see more uh videos of here of people actually being realistic and, uh, and basically, you know, showing, you know, your earnings and all the other stuff. Not well, we're just showing your earnings. I mean, if you're a DoorDash driver, you know, you, you know, you should know, I don't know. And, and the people that continuously put, put out the videos that, that, that don't see no wrong in it, it makes me wonder, well, are you getting sponsored by them, you know, or whatever, you know, maybe not, but it's not, you know, it's not, you know, it's not all what it's cracked up to be. And like I said, I'm in shortly. Well, I'm already in the process, not even think about it, but I'm in the process of getting something, you know, a steady gig somewhere else and focusing on something else versus uh, doing this. So um, and everyone is uh, entitled to their own opinion. But I do like when people keep it real and um, basically, you know, state, you know, the thing. And right now I'm not I'm not even I, I'm not, not necessarily parked in a hot spot. But like I said, there's still some restaurants over here. I necessarily every time when I do this, I don't I don't um, I've, I've I've made more deliveries in non hotspot areas, to tell you the truth. So um, me being in this area probably is, is not a good thing because um, maybe it's, it's super saturated. So maybe it's better if you go farther off into the areas that haven't really been established as hotspots yet. So that's that's my personal opinion. But um, I'm going to cut it short. Peace out.